Hello, everybody. Sitting out on the back porch, smoking some Cornell and Deal's uh, Tuskegee Airmen in the Graybo Starfire. It's <clears throat> I don't smoke this one very often because this is one of my dedicated English pipes. And I don't smoke English tobacco very often. I usually prefer, you know, just plain Virginias, vapors, things like that. But, I was wanting an English blend tonight. And, it, it's, it hit the spot. I haven't had this one in a while. I was worried it would have dried out, and it was pretty dry, but it's still good. It hasn't uh, hasn't gotten very bitey. Excuse me. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I mean, this is kind of along the same line as uh, like Frog uh, Frog Morton on the town. You, you've got that. Uh, there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of Kia, of course. I think there's some Turkish and. Uh, you can definitely, I mean, definitely taste some of that Bosma leaf in it. So. It's good stuff. I'm smoking this and drinking a mug of Constant Comment Black Spiced Tea. It's uh, orange peel and sweet spices, and uh, it's my favorite tea. I had a glass. Uh, I made a glass of uh, iced Constant Comment this afternoon, and because uh, I am Southern, it had to be sweet enough to hurt your teeth. It's, it's my favorite tea. I, I just, I, I like the orange peel. I like the spice. It's nice. <laughs> Let's see, I have been making lessons and had to make a test. Short In short order, I'll have to make a seating chart because one of my classes has some chatty students. My class, uh, <clears throat> my senior class, has been, we've been going over, uh, uh, it, let's see, senior course, uh, sen senior English courses go through British literature, and we've been looking at, uh, I've, I've been planning, a, I've been working on a war unit. We started off with uh, Rupert Brooks, the soldier. Followed it up with uh, William Butler Yeats's An Irish Airman Foresees His Death. Uh, had them this week work on a comparative essay talking about the uh, differences in speaker mood and tone on the two poems. And today, uh, yesterday we started um, Winston Churchill's wartime speech, Be Ye Men of Valor. And as my uh, my old high school history teacher, whom I am working with, some t well, not working with, but uh, I am fulfilling my student teacher training at the high school I graduated uh, from, which I graduated. If I'm going to be all English English teachery, I can't uh, end with a preposition, as uh, Churchill himself said. Ending a sentence with a preposition is something up with, uh, something up with which I shall not put. There we go. Anyway, as my, uh, former English, uh, as my former history teacher, current colleague, 
the uh, infamous Earl Willoughby uh, said the other day, love him or hate him, you have to admit Churchill was a very interesting man. Anyway, I find Churchill to be a fascinating person. I'm amazed by the things that he accomplished in his life. The, uh, just the, the, the quotes that came from that man, the, uh, the great volume of writing that came from him, and the fact that he was such, a, such an ardent and dedicated smoker of cigars. I read in a Cigar Aficionado article that he smoked somewhere between 10 and 20 cigars every day. So, he did that. He drank alcohol from the moment he woke to the moment he slept. He ate to excess every day of his life. He died in his 90s. Churchill loved, apparently, to drive the health nuts crazy, and he did so with uh, his sheer existence. We've been going, I've had them uh, looking at that this, uh, the past couple days, and uh, to, uh, in, in the spirit of Churchill, uh, for the last two days of class I've worn a bow tie. When Mr. Willoughby asked why, uh, well, no, um, he said, what, no, he goes, no cigar? I said, I don't think they'd let me have it, so I wore the bow tie instead, although there have been a couple moments when the cigar would have been nice. Because as much as I, as interesting as I find Churchill, a class full of 17 and 18 year olds don't give a crap about the, the man. been wanting a cigar pretty bad the last couple days. Uh, had one Friday night, as I mentioned before. <clears throat> it was not the greatest cigar. It started to become interesting by the time I had to put it out, unfortunately. Uh, I purchased a couple. I, I bought a, uh, a Romeo y Julieta. Uh, reserve Churchill sized, of course, because I got that yesterday, because every time I read about Churchill, it makes me want a cigar. I got those, and I got a Habana nub. So, um, for the near future, I'm set on cigars. I'm just trying to figure out when I can smoke them. Because even a nub, which is only like three and a half inches, Smoking one of those is, in my, in my experience, an endeavor of at least an hour. Thinking about Friday. Got to work Friday evening, but I won't have to do anything else. I'll probably get home from school between 3.30 and 4. But even then, if I, if I lit up a cigar then, I'd have to rush it. And I, I, if there's anything I hate, it's rushing a good cigar. So I might wait till Saturday for that. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. I don't know. I, I started this pipe earlier this afternoon when I first got back, and then it was time to eat dinner, and then it was time to work on things, and after things had been worked on, I uh, made a mug of tea, 
forgot about it for about 20 minutes. Uh, it steeped all that time. <laughs> but the nice thing about constant comment is you can't really oversteep it, uh, at least in my opinion. So I've got my mug of tea, I've got my pipe. Came out here to sit down and smoke, and I was going to finish a uh, Holy Smoking Pipe Padre video that I'd started earlier. But as I sat, I started, I don't know, I feel very relaxed, contemplative. So I thought I'd make a video, because I haven't made very many of those lately. I'm planning on making another one on Sunday, so long as I uh, keep up my work ethic this weekend and actually get done the things that I need to get done on Saturday. And maybe if I have time on Sunday, I'll make one. Uh, it would ha it would have to be done on Sunday because uh, the uh, uh, not exactly a joke, but more maybe a jest. that requires the video go up on Sunday, requires the video be filmed on Sunday. Hmm. Whew. I am rather tired. I'm going to finish the couple things I need to finish. Hopefully I can be in bed by 11. Pretty sure I can. And that'll be... That, that'll give me a good... Hour, hour... A good hour or two before... Uh, or at, at more than what I've been accustomed to during the week at least. I've started using these. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that actually, but it's an interesting lighter. I like it quite a bit. I normally use Bic, uh, Bic lighters, just because they're cheap and. Um, as I've said before, I'm a big fan of Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files. Uh, he, uh, the first spell the character ever uh, created was uh, a little candle spell. Just something uh, that... Uh, and like a candle spell because that's what he normally uses it to do, to light candles. And the incantation in uh, fake Latin is Flicum Bicus. So that's why I kind of have taken to using Bix, but the uh, Jeep, 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 I don't know how you say that actually, uh, it's actually a little bit cheaper than a, than a full-size Bic, it holds a little more fluid than a full-size Bic, and it's a little more convenient to hold and use to light a pipe, I think. The, the 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 wider body gives it a little more give, gives your fingers a little more leverage I think hmm. that may be a sign that I'm done with this I can't keep, get it to keep a light well I've talked about nothing for far too long so shall bid you good night happy trails and I'll talk at you guys later.